As we travel this time-space continuum we call life, we are not alone. We are connected as beings of frequencies, to a multiverse of quantum dimensions. We are also connected to our soul tribe and that greater part of us, our higher self. Some of us may be fortunate enough to have members of our soul tribe living and breathing in this reality with us. But we all have members of our soul tribe on hand, at all times, in higher dimensions, ready to guide, protect, heal and recharge us. As a tribe, we rotate lifetimes, some lifetimes we do and our tribal comrades man the home station, or travel with us. They may stay close from the fourth dimension as ancestral guides, or in the fifth or higher dimensions as guides and angels. With each new lifetime, our pack rotates experiences. Next lifetime we may well be the ones acting as guide to our soulmate on another planet, existing as another type of being. It's all part of the grand school of life, filling our soul jars with wisdom, experience and love. There are seven main ways our tribe in the other dimensions can communicate with us. 1. Psychic Ability Some have retained or regained psychic ability and can either hear, see, or feel messages directly. 2. Using Tools Cards, Runes, Crystal Pendulums, Crystal Ball, etc., offering a common language we can communicate with our guides through. 3. Synchronicity. Our guides can create glitches in the matrix to prod us, nudge us in the right direction, warn us, or awaken us. 4. Number Sequences. A very clear and direct way for guides to communicate with us, especially since the matrix operates in numbers. We see numbers everywhere, all day. Lots of opportunity for our tribe to drop us messages. Websites like Sacred Scribes and Angel Numbers are excellent as quick go-to checks for symbolism and meanings behind number sequences. 5. Nature and Animals Our guides can interact with us through nature and animals. Seeing animals appear in unusual places or at unusual times, or behave in a strange way is also a common language. The symbolism and meaning of many animals and much of nature has been passed down for millennia on Gaia, it is relatively easy to check the meanings. 6. Gut Feelings Powerful instinctive responses usually felt in the stomach or solar plexus area. Sometimes experienced as sudden headaches, nausea, or dizziness. These emotional and physical responses can be prompted by the frequency alignment we share with our guides. They can zap you if you like, give us a jolt. What we do with that is up to us. 7. Meditation. Authentic prayer, not rote, and dream state, open gateways to higher dimensions, activating our third eye and crown chakras, making lines of communication clearer and easier to navigate. We can keep alert and aware for messages, guidance, and communication from our guides, and we can also communicate back with them. Opening a dialogue with our guides and higher self is a wonderful thing to do. Understandably this requires some deprogramming on our part. In a society where hearing voices is directly equated with being crazy, the elite's manipulation and oppression of our thought processes limits our existential experience of being human. We can be hesitant to explore this. We can use affirmations. Mantras, meditation, rituals, and focused intention to directly communicate with our higher dimension soul tribe. Here are some simple ways to open dialogue with your guides and higher self, encouraging alignment with manifestation and the general magical wonder of the universe. Stress I ask my guides to protect me from lower frequencies. I am going to have a calm, insert relevant adjective day healing i ask my guides and higher self to protect and heal me i send love to my insert injured body part illness etc running the palm of your hand a couple of inches above the injury whilst repeating this mantra can help as well guidance 
I ask my guides and higher self to help me make the right choice, to show me the direction I should take. Mantra, I am one with universal love frequency. Grounding. I move my spirit back into my body with the protection and love of my guides and higher self. Mantra, I am connected to the multiverse, I am powerful and wise in my core, I am grounded back into Gaia. Awakening. I ask that all upgrades appropriate for me at this time, be activated under the protection and healing love light of my guides and higher self. Mantra, I share love, I receive love. I am love. The rule of three always applies, repeat each meditation or mantra three times, with meaning. Breath work, lengthening and deepening our breathing, as we say the words in our head, raises our vibrations at a cellular level, helping us tune into higher frequencies. Breathe into your throat, chest, stomach. You will feel your heart beat slow, blood pressure decrease, your body become calm. Your ego will quieten and you will be able to hear and see from an energetic perspective. It is good practice to connect to the energy of gratitude, to express humility with grace and love. Namaste. All these, and simple mantras like them, can be done anywhere, anytime, on the bus, before a meeting, before a family dinner, even during an interview or stressful experience. Breathe deep, three times and say in your head, doing this as often or as little as you want or need. Setting focused intentions as part of our morning routines, are a powerful tool for manifestation and spiritual growth. These intentions can also be revisited throughout the day to recenter and balance our energies. We can also communicate directly with our body, sending love and healing using the power of words and intent, healing love frequency. Focusing our energetic intention on sending healing to our body nourishes it and draws the trinity of mind-body-soul more into balance as an energetic being. A bedtime routine, like prayer, or cleansing our chakras, rebalancing our spiritual system, can be as simple as saying the mantra, I strengthen, balance and clear my energetic system of lower frequencies and vibrations under the protection and guidance of my guides and higher self. Combined with breath work and quiet meditation, we can learn to balance our own systems. Like good friends, soul mates in our lives, our higher frequency soul tribe love us, know us, in the case of the higher self are us, and have our best interests at heart. Open up a dialogue with them, don't be scared of what you may hear, see, feel in return. Trust that all will be communicated at a level we are prepared to handle. We are part of a tribe, a pack, a crew of souls and we travel together across time and space, each taking their turn on the karmic wheel of life. Call to them, activate your third eye and recognize their messages. They are here for us, to love, heal, guide and protect us. Welcome them with open arms, open heart and open mind. Much love beautiful people.